This is Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard. You can see the, uh, the old Jewish flag, though. Where, uh, where's the BLM tent? Oh, this is all pretty much it, the whole area. Do they still have the big VLN tent with the big screen TV in it and all that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. A big screen TV in this BLM tent. Oh, they got BLM all over it. Look at it. I think they sell stuff here. Like, I couldn't tell if this is a homeless tent or, or whatnot. Because it's like, who, who would do this? I don't know. Hey, how do you get this thing set up? I was wondering how you set this thing up. You care if I come in and talk to you? Oh my God, cool. I'm inside the tent. I'm recording, do you care? For sure. Pretty crazy how it's all set up. You guys sell stuff here? What's that? Flags and painting? You can, um, I'm just gonna check and see if the my people, I'm on Instagram, but I wanna see if they can hear it. Can you guys hear what I'm saying in response wise? Yeah, but what did he what did he say they sell? They sell these paintings and stuff. Oh. I wanted to see what this tent was about. I have never been in. You know, I've always seen it. But yeah, how did they get their electricity? Stuff. How do you guys get they're asking how you guys get like electricity? I'd like From the a generator? The... Do cops ever come and like mess with you guys? How long you been here? Where are you Life from, soul. California? Don't try to get him killed. What's that? How's it going? Tony's got balls of steel, I'm telling you. Y'all should see the stuff that he videos. Y'all follow him. He is badass. Pretty crazy. What's this one about? Are you guys pro America? Exactly, six fight. Communism. They have security in here and everything. Jesus, you know this is honestly more high tech than my apartment. Yeah, real oh, shit. shit. I my phone real oh my god! Oh my god! I gotta plug my phone in. What's that? I'm plugging my phone in. Alexa, I don't even have an Alexa. You guys got a whole fucking setup, man. What's that? Did, did the cops mess with them? Phillips T? Phillips T. Oh, no. Is it similar to the Alexa? I'm not reading the comments. Sorry. Oh, it's for the lighting? Dang. That's rare. That's crazy, man. I never realized how... Uh, how 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 many people live in here? Just you and the the guy. That's it. What's your what's your what's your name, man? Larry. I'm Tyler. I know there's a lot of people in here that I'm already seeing this too, but I want everybody to see this. Sorry, I can't, I really can't, I gotta speak up a little bit. Sorry. Uh -huh. You want me to show everything in here for you? Oh shit. Uh-huh. Oh, there's definitely a different way. I, I envy the way you guys live. I mean, I'm not having to pay taxes and free everything. I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, everyone pays sales tax. Sales tax? Huh? Oh, raise the sales tax? Well, I would love to get rid of every tax. No, not but not. Sales tax. What about it? Keep it. Keep the sales tax. Who does that help out? The state? It makes everything evil. Buy stuff with tax on it. Yeah, no, okay. okay. Yeah. Right. The, 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 the problem with tax is, okay, look, there's my Che up here. Oh, yeah. So who the hell is that guy? Uh, che. Yeah, who's Che? Because, I, I mean, I've always thought that was, like, 
communist, anti-government, well, anti-everything. From Argentina, okay. I thought it was Cuba kind of thing. You care if I step in here? I can't really freaking. All right, guys, I'm really risking it all. <laughs> hazard pay, hazard pay. So how, how, what do they think of today's like world? What do you want to hear? Like, what do they think of today's world and politics? Like, what, what, what? How do they think America's going? I would, if, since you, uh, I guess, idolize or you know, look up to this guy Che. Do you like how America in the last year, or two, five years, whatever has um, has been going? Like, do you see it going in the direction of you know communism, the way that this guy might like, or how, how do you want it? On you do political debates on Facebook. You want to put your uh, handle on there? I can. I have a couple. Flags, Hollywood, Rocco. Hi. That's, that's the hat. Flags, Hollywood, Rocco. Flags, man. I don't know if you can hear him or not. But... Oh, the blue wig. Dude, I want to see you in the wig. Put that thing on, dude. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are Yeah, get his get his uh, username and stuff. So do you, does that does that change your gender when you put the wig on, or you, like, does it affect anything? Or why is the what's the wig about? Okay, Yeah, every, I mean everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Juju, I'm done. <laughs> That nobody ever the first person that. Really? So who does he yeah, use? I have, no, I have no filter on me, so. Hey, who does he usually debate with? Like, what kind of debates does he get into? My uh, my friends on here, they're asking uh, when you do like the Facebook debates. Do you who do you debate with typically? Like, or what side are you on? I guess. Can't hear. I can't hear him. Hi. Wow. What did he say? He, I'm having a hard time hearing. Can anybody hear? This is our government. Our people, okay? They're, they're saying they're having a kind of a hard time hearing. I can hear you. I'm very surprised that you're well, you know, uh, educated on or kept up to the kept up the current data on everything oh, politics wise. Oh, how do you find your news? Like, you, what do you? How do you get that? Well, let me put it this. You, when, what, can you give me one second? I'm just going to explain. He was saying that he uh, debates typically about pro-Trump, you know, pro-Trumper kind of people that, um, you know, or uh, pro-Trumper January 6th kind of stuff. Um, from what I, from what I heard, I'm trying to concentrate on a bunch of things. My bad. Um, so, but, but what really ask him if he'll go live with. Ask him if he'll go live with us one day. Not racist, but it's going to become reactionary or revolutionary. Oh, okay. I like that. I like. I could agree with that. You know what I mean? You either do what the United States of America is founded on revolution against a reactionary king, George. Can I say hi, Chaim Tom? The reactionary king is probably the better part. It's the choice is yours. No, I agree. I mean, you know, depending on what side of the aisle you're on, um, remember, let's it's, get it is liberal and conservative. What about it? Let's get rid of liberal and conservative. What, what do you want to do with the liberal and conservative? You mean like... All of them. No. Let them be whatever side they want to be. Okay. And then what? Reactionary or revolutionary. Work together. I think we should work together because you know if we if we both teamed up then we could get our Maybe problems solved. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be what the country is 
down and on. Yeah. Grab balloons. Wasn't it the American Revolution? I agree, yeah. The, I mean, the American Revolution was saying that, you know, we're not going to keep not listening. Gonna take this work on a yeah. Yeah. yeah, back then we actually had people that had some balls and were willing to, you know, stand up for what they believe in. But nowadays, with everything else. Ask him what he thinks about COVID and everything. He's not speaking very loud, sorry, guys. Uh, okay. um, they wanted to, one of the quick questions. I don't know if you can speak any louder. If not, it's, it's all good. Um, they wanted to ask, wanting my, your opinion on what you think of the COVID and everything. I think it's interesting with being, you know, uh, transient, not having your own home, with how the government's describing, the media is describing COVID and how deadly it is and whatnot. I, I you know, being out here, I thought the home was to be the first to go. Okay. <laughs> Me for COVID 19 right here, and they said I tested positive. And they said that I want to go into a government home, and I said no. Yeah, they're freaking old motels that will throw people. I know. Okay, so, what happened? What happened is the health department called me up the next day and said, the just involved in And you have to... That's like a, ton, like a mansion tent. Yeah. And it's a great thing. They said, you know, you need to go to the hospital. And I said, no, I don't. And what happened was after... Forty or fifty days of quarantine. Uh, I used the quarantine to tell people leave me alone because everybody wants to hang out with me. Yeah. I, I moved here last year, um, in with my girlfriend. I, honestly I thought this was you know, like a um one of those like pop up shop kind of things on the sidewalk. But then I you know, after seeing it up here for so long I, I realized, you know, I don't think it really is and looking down, I mean it's, you guys are pretty uh well set up in here man i wouldn't want to leave here either if i you don't have do you work at all or do you, what did you do before you were here um a tele, okay i have so many titles i forgot which ones i have i'm just saying that i know the first thing i am now is in the vexillology vexillology is the study of flies so I'm a vexillologist. Okay. And I'm to see all the problems. Yeah. What do you think? Have you had any problems with people coming up to you guys, uh, up to your tent, not liking to see flags flown here other than American? Because personally, no, me, I, no. I, I'm pro America and anti communism, so. No, I know. I see. I see all the stuff, and not not any problem with you personally, but I don't. I don't agree with it. Okay, cool. You gotta remember, I was born in 1953. Okay. The year of the Korean Army. Okay. So you have to understand everything. And my father worked in the defense industry. Okay. And my mother worked, you know, in World War II. So everything in my American life is based on communism. So that is what, I, I mean, I, that was the issue, that main issue that was dealt with back then, you know, well, this time and whatnot. Look, look, look. My father worked in the defense industry, right? So what did that mean? He could never tell me what he could do because I'm saying as a historical relic is probably the most important piece. Was that security? You know, you can ask me one, one thing. I got to get going after a minute, but I, go ahead, ask me something. Which side are you talking about? On the building across the street? But I can't really see it, but L.A. is home to the most famous sign in the world. 
and this one is telling you to do business in Ohio. What do I think of that sign? Is that what you're asking me? LA is the only one. I mean.